Ah, uh, the tides. For all of recorded history, humanity has experienced the ebb and flow of the world's oceans. The unchanging tidal cycle has been with the earth for as long as she has held liquid water on her surface. And for thousands of years, mankind has lived in harmony with the tides. But as humanity has entered the 21st century, this symbiotic relationship has begun to break down. Tides are caused primarily by the gravitational interaction between the moon and the earth. As the moon orbits around the planet, its gravity pulls on the water of the earth, causing it to bulge outward. Any coastal area will experience a high tide every 12 hours and 25 minutes. Once a year, when the moon and sun line up perfectly, a king or spring tide occurs. Sunny day flooding, also known as tidal flooding, does not occur because the tides are becoming more intense. Rather, it has everything to do with the rising level of the world's oceans. Most of the world's largest and most economically important cities exist along the coast. In the United States, in 2010, 123.3 million people lived in counties directly on the shoreline. Similarly, 40% of the world's population lives within 100 kilometers of the shore. That is approximately 2.8 billion people. In 2016, the city of Miami approved nearly $400 million to spend on various programs designed to deal with this nuisance flooding, while at the same time, Florida State Governor Rick Scott banned usage of words like climate change and global warming. There are hard decisions to be made in the future. Let's hope that we can all come together and once again live in harmony with our tides.